Welcome back to the channel guys and you join me here in the North Pole as you can see snow deep now we're not actually in North Pole we're in Northumberland and I'm joined by good friend Steve who were there which is Sparta Fishing is his channel check it out guys I travelled up through the night and um, heavy snow and uh, like I say up in Northumberland three or four days chasing cod so I'm gonna get down onto the beach, get set up, and I'll bring you back to say hello. I have to talk and out like just so I can get a bit of footage of uh, how crazy I am for driving seven hours. Yeah. Well, the man behind the camera um, said that he makes the best uh, breakfast in the northeast. Now, to be fair, there was enough on that plate to feed a king, maybe two, and it was bloody good if I say at least. Um, Let's just hope that he can keep to his promise and put me on some fish. He's smiling behind the camera there now. Um, now, guys, it's fishing at the end of the day. And, you know, you put a picture up on social media and you'll get somebody say, oh, you need to be over there, you need to be over here, you need to do this, you need to do that. Um, local knowledge is key, don't get me wrong. And Steve catches enough fish up and down this coast. Um, but... It's all right when everybody says, go over there, go over here, do this. You can lose your mind and you can run around too much. Just fish to your e expectations and what you think you can handle and what feels right for you, really. Um, like I say, sometimes when you're listening to people and they're telling you what to do, you can get lost in the path of what you're actually trying to do. So, yeah, be grateful of all that help, all that knowledge, all that... Thought I had a tap there then. All that, um, you know, information. Take it into account, but again, don't get lost in the moment. So guys, it's daytime, the sun's out, it's snowing on and off, it's glorious, there's a big sea on the go. I'm looking forward to tonight. So keep tuned and let's see what happens here. So we've just come to this mark here guys um, and I'm going to go, we're on a rock mark still obviously in Northumberland we're going to be in the Northumberland area for the next few days well I am anyway, Steve lives here so he's got no choice in the matter um, so what I'm going to do guys, I'm not messing about I'm looking for a big fish so I'm going to fish big baits i got a big spider crab peeler here um, I'm going to bind this on um, we're coming up to dark hours now so Hopefully that will bring us some fish action. Um, but yeah, I'm fishing massive, chunky baits. No messing about, cut a bit of that shell away. I don't want to give them fish any reason to spit the hook. I want them to swallow it down, all nice, soft, juicy bait. So uh, yeah, we're on this rock mark here. Um, don't ask me what it's called, because I don't know. That's the that's the honest truth and it's not my ground so you know it is what it is um, but have a quick look Steve's just there he's gonna stop there I'm gonna stop here I've been on Google Earth Maps I've noticed there's a bit of a hole out in front of me here I've not seen it over low water but there's a hole I would say about here somewhere looks about 55 60 yards on Google map quite hard to judge Steve's got one in front of him runs there so yeah, we're hopefully going to pull a cord out here now this evening. Um, we're coming up to high water, two hours off high water. So yeah, like I say, and like I always say, keep tuned, keep watching, let's see what happens. Yeah, yeah, you're live now. 
Right guys, I was having a bit of a meltdown there, I'm not going to lie. Um, absolutely frustrated, pissed off, had a cracking bite, hooked into it, lost it to a snag, got everything back apart from the fish, chucked straight back out, boom! First off Northumberland fucking cod, get in there, only a babby, a couple of pounds, um, I don't know, two, two and a half pounds maybe, lovely yeah. fish. Um, it's the first one from Northumberland, it was lightly hooked, let's put it back eh? Showing the appreciation, it's a long way to come, it'd make a lovely meal and I could put it in the freezer, but do you know what, let's put this one back. Happy days, first Northumberland Coughlin. Get in there, keep tuned, because we're going to find that big one before the weekend's out. There we are guys, my second fish of the night. Um, a little bit smaller than the first one, but this one is deep hooked. It is in size, so this one will be filleted, put in the freezer. I have changed my rigs a little bit. So if you look in my last video, I show you how I tie a rig. But I was missing bites, so I've shortened my body length. So when that is up there like that, I'm literally fishing very, very similar to how I fish the earth bar, um, which I describe in quite a few of my videos. But I'm basically fishing that short because I'd missed a couple of bites. I thought I'd shorten everything up. So as soon as that fish hits it, it's in direct contact with the lead that's stuck. Just my personal opinion and it's worked, I've had two bites since and I've had two fish and I've missed two fish so it's worked happy days right then guys, I'm going to get a bait back out there a few more fish to catch yet no sympathy for me in this video if you're not just <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry guys, yeah um, Steve, that invited me to fish his grounds um, I picked the spot tonight basically and we're catching fish <laughs> <laughs> well they're getting smaller, not bigger. Sizing that little one here, and it has absolutely annihilated the bait. Um, oh, there we are. Managed to get that out nice and gently. Annihilated the bait. Little one. Proper little one. Let's get it back. Let's tell you what, though, it's got a weird lip. Look at its bottom lip. It's got no teeth. See it? It's all smooth, like a jelly feel to its bottom lip. No teeth there. Show how well that'll show, but anyway, a little in, get him back. Free all, free all, free all. Don't forget, check out Sparta Fishing, Steve's Blanking channel. Only joking, he's got some good fish on there. Check it out, guys. Well, guys, we just got onto the mark for the night. Um, We'll come onto a beach, one of Steve's Mark's recommendations, and um, I lost one first cast or second cast, then got weeded out, so we just had to move up, and uh, there we go. Another nice codlin. Fourth fish of the trip for me, so I'm happy with that. Right, I'll get baited up, get it back out there, and see if we can find another day. Well guys, I'm back in the van and it's been an absolute interesting day up here in Northumberland. Um, it's a little bit after 1am now in the morning and uh, yeah, I'm feeling tired. The noise in the background is the fan um, for the heater. Now Steve um, has been absolutely fantastic. Him and his family have been so welcoming. Um, on my arrival yesterday morning they've just made me feel so welcome here um, I've had breakfast and just absolutely fantastic lovely genuine people really lovely people um, and the fishing hasn't been so bad either so I've managed to land four codlin today no absolute monsters but I've had four codlin um, I lost what felt an half decent fish I've lost three fish altogether it's been an interesting day hasn't been as full on as I thought um, surprisingly from what I hear, um, not a go-to bait here, but I've uh, I've had three of my fish today and one of my lost fish on hermit crab. 
so that's an interesting one for you guys anyway um, I'm going to put this video together so this is part one of the Northumberland trip fishing for cod so uh, hopefully I'll see you in, in part two and until then keep safe keep fishing keep chasing them dreams